The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, boys and girls, this is Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Hold on one second. 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're going to start off with something different today, folks. This is the Russian ruble that you're looking at. Something very dramatic has happened over the last 24 hours. It has gotten zero news. But it's very important. Mr. Putin said to the world, he said, boys and girls and the rest of the world, starting in seven days, all payments to be made for Russian gas and Russian oil will be made in Russian ruples. And that means that those sanctions don't mean very much at all. I uh, don't understand the whole graphics behind it or the economics behind it, but that's what it means. You can see the big rally that the Russian ruble has had. But that's a game changer, folks. So start paying attention to what the news is doing. Never traded the Russian ruble before, but I will be watching it for indications of what might be happening in the world for movements of certain kinds, whatever they are, in foreign currency or in the gold market or whatever. But that, that's a big deal. That's why we've had this big swings that you've seen here in the ruble over the last two days. So seven days will tell the tale. He said he will turn off the gas to Europe if, he, if they don't do it. And he said that's the way it's got to be. So, you know, it's his oil so he can do whatever he wants. Okay, now I've had a question about what do I do uh, personally when things go wrong. Folks, it's really simple. I go back to A, B equals C, D. I mean, that's basically what it is. I'll go down to a, taller, a smaller time frame, and that's the one that will get you to the promised land. The second question that someone's asked is, how do you trade strong trending markets? Hmm. Well, guess what, boys and girls? I go back to what's got me this far, and that is trade with the ABCD. Let me give you an example here today in the um, crude oil. I'll just, I'll just pull this up so you can uh, take a quick look at it. And they're all the same, but I wanted to make a couple comments on this because Shane sent a really cool ABCD uh, chart also, and I wanted to comment on that. But you can see here that we had this beautiful ABCD here, right here. Folks, that's a $1,500 move that we had there on that ABCD, and then we rally up $2,000. That's how much this thing is swinging. But the, but the ABCD is there. That's the whole key. You know, are they there all the time? No. Do they work all the time? No. But when they do work, they work very well, and they work a lot better than 50%, than folks. It's closer to 66%. There's, uh, you know, there's this just one of the better patterns that uh, you can possibly ask for. I mean, that's the, the simple part of, uh, you know, what we're, what we're looking at here. But let me show you something else here. This is a chart here from our good friend, Mr. Shane Smolian. I want to get this up here because he does uh, his counting very similar to what Mr. Um, uh, Basil Chapman does. But Basil's is even uh, is quite simple. Uh, hold on. They're both simple, but just a minute. This is a complex Elliott formation, actually. But I wanted to bring this up here just to show you uh, what this numbers are. You'll pull this up and then you'll see it here. Now, you can see all these letters up here, folks. You see those letters? You, you can change those to anything you want. You really can. It basically gets down to one thing. A, B equals C, D, as Mark Douglas used to tell me. And you could change all of them, just, just, just for kicks and giggles. Change all of those little uh, red, yellow, blue, whatever they are. Change them to A, B, C, D. Now, when Basil does his counting, he does it as good as anybody I've seen. And he goes, he takes the alphabet out to, I don't know how far it goes, but all of them are related to A, B, C, D. You know, he just got a way of looking at it. And what that does is it tells you that a pattern is there. That's all it's telling you. Neither, you know, A, B, C, D, or whatever you want to call it, tells you that when that thing fails, that tells you that something else is out there bigger than what you're looking at. And that's why you've got to be extremely careful. 
you know, it's just uh, just very, very careful. Now, he's uh, Shane sent another one that is a little over the over the top here for me, but I wanted to bring it up to you because I wanted you to see the the symmetry that is on this thing because this is what counts. It shows you that the mathematics behind the market are are really incredible, you know, and so. <laughs> It, 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 it's hard to fade it, but here's the main thing. You'll notice here uh, that new high that we made up here uh, on this NASDAQ, but what was interesting is last night when I checked the open interest in all this stuff, guess what was happening, folks? The, one of the biggest drops in open interest that we've had all year was yesterday in the S&P 500. What did that do? That signaled that, uh-oh, no new buying coming in. Where were we standing? We were right up there at one of those really strong ABCD patterns last night. I can show it to you, uh, I believe, easier in the NASDAQ than anything else. I think I, I think I can, I think I can. Let's get this up here to do it. I have to do Tesla for you tonight too because I've, uh, I wanted to bring that to your attention. Okay, here is the, uh, this is the pattern we were checking out in the NASDAQ last night. And uh, get this up here. Now, the NASDAQ had been the strongest these last few weeks, but it had been the weakest for the last several months, and it's still relatively weak. You'll notice here today, after we had that top up there at the 1.618 expansion, and it stayed there all evening. And when it was doing that and open interest was dropping, I said, gee, looks like it's not going to go any higher. We had a pretty good break, and then you notice we rallied back right up to the 61% retracement on that. And so that's an important number to watch because if we turn around and go the other way, then that's uh, you know that's telling you that we're probably getting ready to go uh, even higher. But right now everything's lined up. When you see a big drop in open interest like that and price is screaming to the upside, that is short covering, folks, and that is not a very bullish phenomenon. That's uh, very very important. Okay, let's talk just a tiny bit here about Tesla. I wanted to bring this to your attention here to show you something. All right, let me do it in two ways. I want to do it the easy way and then the hard way. Where is it? Ah, this is the one I want. No, nope, that's it. Yeah, okay. All right, here, here's what I want to show you in the test. So we were on, on, the, on the air yesterday. If you'll recall, hold on just a second. That's why I could, oh dear, hold on a second. There we go. Okay, here was where we were yesterday. You'll see the Tesla was making up here. You see we had a $40 break, and look what happened after that, folks. It exploded to the upside. When these ABCD patterns failed, they failed badly. You know, they do two things, folks. You know Curly from uh, City Slickers do one thing. Well, ABCD does two. One, it defines a pattern that you're looking at. And number two, it tells you when you're wrong. Because when you go past that D number, not a happen, a nebahachi, as Tonto would used to say to the Lone Ranger. Nebahachi means never happen. So I'll tell you, that that's the real beauty of what that pattern will do. And, you, and when you have a loss, be thankful and move on to the next one. That's basically what you have to do. There's no other way about it. Now, I wanted to, to cover a couple of quick little things here. Uh, there's going to be a Foundation for the Study of Cycles uh, webinar coming up very shortly that I'll talk to you about and I'll bring more about that to your attention for just a second. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I had a, a really interesting conversation early this morning with one of the uh, folks that I uh, work with to you know, teach him how to trade. He's been doing it for a while, doing pretty good. But uh, he had an interesting story that I have to relate to. I want to show you this, uh, this little watch that I have here, this little gold watch. You see it comes off of a, off of a yacht, and I'll just open it up and take it. How do you take this darn thing off? If you want to carry it as a pocket watch, you can take it out, and then you can, uh, whoops, hopefully I get out, then you can carry it as a pocket watch. Well, I really like that watch. I was down in Miami Beach oh, 25 years ago uh, working with a fellow from Chicago. He had a beautiful yacht there. He wanted to show it to me, so I went down for three days to stay with him. His phone number, folks, was 618-0000. I couldn't believe it, but uh, <laughs> that's what he had as a phone number. And uh, he passed away, uh, oh, probably um, quite a while ago. But uh, the story that I about that watch was, I thought I'd really like to have that and he told me the story about the watch to him he gave me the watch by the way but the story was his wife wanted to and this was when early in his trading career his wife wanted a new bathroom and by golly he says i'm going to trade and make that new bathroom the new bathroom was about 25 grand so this 25 grand was sitting in front of him just like this you know right blinding him all he could see was that watch. He wasn't looking at the at the trades or anything like that. And Mark Douglas uses this acknowledgement because he knew Grayson very well, too. They use that as an, as an example. Look, if you want something, I don't care whether it's a Porsche uh, subscription to Time, well, Time's not, a, Playboy magazine, whatever it happens. I don't even think Playboy's around. Whatever it is, whatever you have right there in front of you, take that out of the way. Do what you're supposed to do. Do what Curly does. Do one thing. Do the trading and the money will be there. 
The second thing that he did, well, I won't go into the second thing that he did wrong, but uh, you know, don't share anybody with what you're doing. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to do that if you're if you're doing well, fine. If someone asks you a question, then fine. But don't go out talking about it. As soon as you start talking about how good you are and all that other stuff, let me tell you, that guy with that big hood thing, you know, with the sickle coming right behind you, he's right there waiting for you to make the mistake. Remember what Roy Longstreet said: the first mistake teaches. The second mistake killed. The first mistake is trading for the bathroom or the watch, whatever it happens to be. The second mistake is keep doing it that way, and you'll soon be flipping burgers over at McDonald's. I wanted to get back to another question. I posted a chart in here about the U.S. war cycles. Cycles newsletter is out. If you want it, just go to fsc.com. And they'll give it to you. And it's also got some really great webinars that they have coming up. So great source of information. You can't beat it. It's, uh, you know, it's really, really worth the effort. Now, let's get back here to the market a little bit. By the way, uh, hold on. Let me get this up here one second here. All right, boys and girls, just take me a minute here. Our guest, Stan Harley, will be with us pretty soon. This is the... Uh, Hang Seng Index, you notice that we went down to that ABCD down there. Hit it perfectly. Now we've had this really strong rally. We got where we needed to be for the bulls to be happy. And that was we had to get above 21,400. We did that where I believe we're 1,000 points higher than that. Believe it or not, folks, at Alibaba that we were looking at at 70, it has got up to 114 which is about a 45% gain in just a few days. I didn't buy any of that. I didn't buy any of Facebook, but the numbers lined up pretty good. That's all we're doing here. And again, that's ABCD. By, by the way, when I, when I talk about uh, Basil's charts and everything and the way he, he, mar he marks them and stuff, that's his way of looking at cycles and his counts, and they're excellent. They really are. He just uses different letters. Uh, than, than, than I use. It's the same type of principle. Yeah, I've watched the show a lot of times and I, I can see what he's doing, but he's done it a great way. He was doing it, he's, do, he's been doing it for so long, it was long before anybody ever saw the Gartley book. That Gartley book didn't come out until 1981 or 82, and I'd been doing Gartley patterns since 70. Two or seventy-three. Well, let's see. Yeah, seventy-two or seventy-three is yeah. Seventy-three was the first time, so that's pretty much it. The second question, the third was the third. I guess the fourth question is, why don't I do campaigns like I did with gold in seventy-six and soybean oil in uh, nineteen? Well, gold in seventy-eight and uh, soybean oil in seventy-four, seventy-five. I, I'm th I'm thinking of doing it. The problem is, is communicating it to everyone is not. It's not as easy. I mean, it should be easier because of all the stuff that we have. I'm not going to do social media. Social media. They're going to have to have to pull my uh, hand off this mouse because I, I just don't. I just don't do that very well. I I, uh, I don't know. It's none of my business, so I just stay away from it. You know. Anyway, let's move on to something else that uh, we might have an answer for here. I've covered the Tesla. Uh, I've covered the NASDAQ. Uh, the NASDAQ, uh, no, I didn't. Uh, the NASDAQ made a 61% retracement. One second here. Let's get this up here. This was the first chart, and I noticed here that the NASDAQ did go up and make the exact one. It went up a little bit higher to the exact 61% retracement right after I posted this, and then, of course, it, it sold off a little bit. But this news that we have, uh, about Putin and what he's doing in seven days. And that you'd have to draw a line in the sand on that, folks. You're going to find out whether the man is bluffing or not. Because if he's not bluffing, it's going to be really, really bad. And if he turns off the gas in Europe, oh, you don't want to hear that one. That's uh, You talk about the recession. That That's a little more than recession uh, if that happens. It's a very, very serious thing. And that's the only way you can do it. I want to talk just a minute here about natural gas because we've had a, a pretty nice move here that we've been expecting. Let's get this up here. And I want to get this up here. Here we are. There's a natural gas. As you can see here that we did break out above that. And uh, that's a good sign. We got up to the 78% level up here today. And uh, I was that was one of the other things that I wanted to show you because people ask me about you know, what do you do when you get into a situation we've had several losing trades in a row? I move forward and try to go into something that I can see really clearly. 
on a uh, smaller time frame. The reason why I use a smaller time frame is it prevents me from taking large losses, and I don't want to do that. So here's the one that I was looking at today. Just was hold on to your horses, folks. We'll get it up here, take a look at it. Since we were talking about the natural gas, this is a natural gas on a four-minute chart, and you can see the A, B, C, D pattern up here. Well, folks, from that from that high down to that high was fifteen hundred dollars. That's thirty handles in the uh, in the S and P, and look how quickly that made thirty handles. So this thing's jumping around a lot. So you've got to pay a very, very close attention to it. But that was the ABCD. You can see the ABCD on the downside. It has since gone up and made an ABCD on the upside. So focus on one thing, you know, and just don't overtrade for God's sakes. The two major reasons why people lose in this business, and I saw 10,000 statements while Mark was here in this office that he had for Merrill Lynch. They never use stops or they traded too much. The two main reasons for losing in this business, trading too much, okay, and not and, you know not using stops. Those are the two reasons, okay? We have Mr. Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter is in the house. He'll be right with us, I hope. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, About on March the 15th, we had the Prince of Cycles and the King of Volatility on the line, Mr. Stan Harley, and he said this market is going north. North we have been. Stan, how are you doing today, my friend? Mr. Pesavento, my pleasure, sir. Well, you can call me Larry after these many years of being friends. Hey, take a look at this chart, folks. This is a uh, chart that he posted to us. Uh, well, it was back on the 15th, as you remember, and we've been straight up. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at, Stan? Absolutely, Larry. Uh, this is a, a weekly chart of the S&P 500 going back about five years. And uh, what I observed a long time ago and continue to observe is the dominant trust in the stock market tend to recur every 34 weeks, eight months. Uh, now that's that's a cycle like all market cycles that contracts and expands over time. But, uh, but I've done a very detailed regression analysis of the data series going back literally decades. And the, uh, the uh, recurring cycle numeric is 34.000000. <laughs> uh, it's exactly wow. 34 weeks, eight months, which, by the way, those are two numbers are Fibonacci numbers. No surprise. Uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the pattern from October 30th of 2020 into October 4th of last year expanded by 38.2%. The most recent one contracted, putting the cyclical schedule right back on where it should be. And uh, for that reason and a number of other reasons, uh, I believe we've got the lows in the rearview mirror and the market is heading higher. Well, it certainly had one heck of a rally for sure. Stan, before we go to the next chart, we have two questions. The first question comes from Gail out of Vail, Colorado. Gail out of Vail. Boy, that makes it me rhyme. Anyway, uh, she's asking, do you do Elliott wave counts in your analysis at all? Uh I'm, I'm not, uh, Gail, I'm not a big Elliott Wave enthusiast. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not discrediting the process, uh, but uh, not, not a big part of what I do. Um, mm -hmm. Others do it and probably do it better than I do. I'm more of a cycles kind of a person and pattern recognition and Fibonacci and that sort of thing, but not a big Elliott Wave uh, person. Stan, you probably remember this. We had those meetings that you attended, and I, I did too, back in back in, in prehistoric times when the dinosaurs were running down Wilshire Boulevard in L.A. But uh, we had several guests come in and talk to us about Elliot. And what was really funny is uh, one would uh, – they would not, not argue, but they would dispute the other's count and stuff like that. And that's the one thing that I had trouble with. It. I said, look, if it's really right, they got to see the, exactly the same thing without uh, any qualms, but that's neither here. Let's, let's move on to the next question, and that is, uh, do you, have you used any, and you've answered this before, but you can answer it again. Have you used anything uh, you, related to astrological cycles like uh, full moons and new moons? That's the question. That's coming from Ben in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. So what, uh, what's your answer uh, to that? I have looked at that a lot in detail, and I mean a lot. And I know that's Larry's particular area of expertise. Um, oh, so no, no, no. My response would, would be sort of like the Elliott Wave. I'm not mm -hmm. discrediting it, but I have not found that it works for me. Okay. Well, I, I certainly, when I've, we've had a lot of guests on here, of course. And uh, a lot of times they have you know, disagreements. And that's what these markets are about. Because if everybody saw the same thing, they wouldn't work. You know, I hope people realize that, that... Uh, there's chocolate cake and vanilla cake out there. You just got to pick which flavor you like and go with it. That's the way I always felt, so what you're comfortable with. Now, the next uh, uh, chart was very, very revealing to us because this market was right near the bottom when you were talking to us about the uh, advanced decline line and what it was doing. I mean, it was really, you were showing that divergence. That's what that, uh, in fact, is right where that low was is where you were on the air saying, gee, this, does, this market is telling us that there's a lot of buying in here and it's being matched. Do you want to tell the folks what you were looking at and why? A absolutely. This is, this is, Larry, this is not the advanced decline line. It's what I call my advanced Oh, the decline. oscillator. I see it. I see it. Oscillator. Got it. Got it. Got yeah. it. Uh, the difference is if one uh, looks at the number of advancing issues for the day 
and the number of declining issues for the day. And that information is published. It's in every newspaper in the land. It can be easily attainable online. Just put it into a spreadsheet. Have two columns. One advances. The second one declines. Third column, subtract the two. So you've got a net difference. If one plots a running summation of that data, it etches out what's called the advanced decline line, which a lot of technicians use. Um, I take it one step further. Um, I then compute a 10-day and a 30-day moving average of that each day's net difference, and it constructs an oscillator, which goes above and below the zero line. And that's what you have here. And this is current as of about an hour ago. These, uh, the, the red dots are the 10-day moving average. The green are the 30. And as one can see, that oscillator reached an extreme low back on January 27th essentially coincident with the January 24th low. But here's where it gets really interesting, Larry. The, uh, the market made a lower low on February the 24th. And look at the red dot there at February the 24th. It's higher. And then, and then advanced decline data are computed at the close of trading of each day. So one needs to look at the daily close of the New York composite and compare that to this indicator. And one can see even though we had lower Closes going into March the 14th, we had higher readings on this advanced decline oscillator. And I was pointing this out during the interviews with you over the last couple of weeks. I said, hey, Larry, look at this. Yes. <laughs> look at this. This is telling, this, this, this is divergence. It's telling me the, dry, the selling pressure is drying up mm -hmm. and uh, we're making a bottom right here. That yeah. coupled with the fact that the 34 week cycle low was due uh, in, in the present time frame. Putting all those things together told me that uh, the market was forming a bottom and we were about to rally and rally strongly. And, and that is indeed what has taken place. I, re I remember you being on the show and then I believe it was the very next night that uh, nuclear power plant was attacked and taken over with burning and all this stuff. The reports were all wrong, of course, that you know, there was not, no damage or no danger anywhere, but they were reporting it and the Dow down overnight was down about 700 points and I'm looking at that and I'm saying only 700 points I said are you kidding me I said you know this this is ridiculous people people folks you well I, I don't want to waste your time Stan but I know you got one other chart here but during when when Kennedy was assassinated in 1963 was it no 61 63, was it? Yeah, yeah November 63. 20, November, yeah. November 22nd, 1963. The Dow was down 30 points, folks. Now, that's 30 points. Well, they do that in two minutes now. But in 1963, the Dow was trading at about, just about 550. So it was down quite a bit. You know, that, that was down, uh, what, 8%, uh, five, five, 5 or 8%. And here we were, we weren't even down 2.5% with a nuclear rumor, whatever it was. I mean, there was, there was nobody afraid. Stan, will you stay with us for your last Absolutely. chart, please? Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, you want to tell what you're looking at here? Yes, uh, Larry, this is a, uh, a current daily chart of the S&P 500 from uh, just a little, little while ago. Um, I've got three moving averages plotted on here. The green one is a 15-day moving average, the, which is rising. The blue one is a 50-day moving average, which is currently declining. And the red one is a 200-day MA, which is currently flatlined. Mm -hmm. And what has happened here is the market has rallied sharply off the March 14th, 34-week cycle bottom. And it's catapulted uh, slightly above the 200-day MA. And it's currently undergoing what I call a back-and-fill structure. So I'm looking for some sideways chop here right on the 200-day MA. What needs to happen is that blue line which is the 50-day MA, you can see the slope is still pointed southbound. Before the market can develop a concerted northbound push, that 50-day MA needs to level off and turn positive. In order for that to happen, you need some price structure development above the line, which is taking place right now. So uh, I'm looking for some sideways chop-chop here up in the, the current area. That will cause the 50-day MA to flatten out and then turn positive. And then uh, once that is accomplished, uh, then we will then have the, the, the necessary floor to, uh, to push higher. Right. I would see the next position really? in the area of 4,600 bases of the S&P. That's where mm -hmm. the February highs were. I think we'll probably see that later next week. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the work... The chart work, the cycles work tells me uh, the bull market is still intact and we're heading higher. Oh, great. Stan, thank you so much for being on, buddy. Your charts are just absolutely as clear as a bell, and you make a description of it uh, just perfect. So thank you, buddy. We'll have you on again soon, and be safe over there in New Jersey. Do you like it back there in the East? Because you've been yeah. a Westerner your whole life. It's very nice. Four seasons here. A little bit different yeah. from the West Coast, which is where I spent most of yeah. my life. But it's great. It's yeah. nice. You're, you're still still putting in your 80 hours a week? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm hey, listen. Yes. <laughs> thanks a lot, Stan. We, we liked having you on the air, so we'll have you again soon. Okay, buddy? 
Okay, folks. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. I got a couple of things that I wanted to go over uh, with you. Uh, and that was I want to bring this one that we were talking about earlier, which was the uh, this natural gas. It, believe it or not, folks, the natural gas contract is much easier to trade than gold or crude oil for two reasons. I'll give them to you right now. Uh, this is the this is just a, I believe it's an eight minute chart. But uh, the reason why is the margin on this is, you know, it's it's nothing. It's like three grand where you're talking about eight, nine thousand for um crude oil or more and then also in gold you're talking about uh, you know 12 fifteen thousand so it's much easier to trade and the volatility is really quite good unfortunately I've got a scam caller coming in here I turn this off to get away from these scam guys but they keep after me I don't know how they get these letters in here I anyway that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at here but you can see the beautiful ABCD structure there folks I mean that's as simple as uh, you could possibly get you came down to what you did here after that bottom was made uh, there at the 78 percent level off of point C uh, it went Raleigh up, right up to the 78 percent level and then it just rolled over and is down again so they repeat over and over again the problem is they don't repeat 100 percent and you've got to remember that the real reason the the ABCD patterns work and why the why we did this floor traders handbook to prove to you that they work about 66 percent of the time that's the probability but the payoff on them folks the payoff on them is better than three to one when you add them together and that's that's why that's why it's so good so anyway um, you know you could you can use anything you want if you use a stop that's the main thing my my whole thing today was to tell you about the fact that you know if you want something don't keep that thing in front of you get it out of the way do the right thing and it's going to be right behind there in other words you want this watch right here well take the watch out of the the way and it's right there do the trading first and then the watch will be there i've watched mark use that hand gesture so many times over the years and boy we've had some we've had grayson grayson was here and we've had some really famous traders here in the office over a uh night uh, what seven year period when mark was living here uh, well he was here for five and then he moved to scottsdale but for five years we had some really, really famous traders in here that are household names that came to visit Mark. And that's where, you know, he got the material for, you know, his book, uh, you know, Trading in the Zone. Because these guys were in the zone. When they were in the zone, that was basically it. So that's it. I uh, don't want to repeat the names of some of these people, even though Mark has passed away. Uh, Paula said to carry the torch and do what he asked. And, uh, you know, someday we'll probably share some of them after I get Paula in a really good mood because uh, and she's in a pretty good mood most of the time. So uh, that that's uh, that's neither here nor there. OK, now let's uh, oh, we talked about that. Or Stan was talking about that 200 day moving average. Uh, when you get to moving averages, folks, I don't use those because they lag a little bit. But people like Steve Rhodes and uh uh, especially Basil Chapman. Basil Chapman has been around for a very long time. He uses them, you know, just really the exact way they should be when you ma match them up with other things. And Steve does pretty much the same thing. So if you're going to use moving average, use something else with it because it's a moving and it's average, but people use them. And I mean, they use them all the time. And some of these algorithmic traders use them quite a bit. So when these numbers hit these, these magical 200-day moving averages and stuff, they're really they're willing to buy and sell against those. And so you should know where they are. I try to point them out the best way I can using A B equals C D, just like uh, I was looking at in the Nasdaq today. I was watching that for the situation to. Uh, you know, to see if it was going to, uh, to do what it was supposed to be doing. And that's pretty much what it's done so far. So we'll see uh, what's going on. The key the key number today, uh, several people have asked me, One, let's say several, one person asked me, what's the key number today in the S&P? That number, folks, is 4483. If we close below 4483, we're trading at 4485 right now. But if we close before below 4483, that signals and and – and we should start down big time in about 25 minutes. So watch the market because if it's correct, we should start down hard in the next 24 minutes. So that's a key number to pay attention to. If we're down below 48.3, uh, below 44.83 today, 
uh, then we are going down big time. And if we go below 4466, we're going bigger, bigger, bigger downtime. So let's uh, remind ourselves. See, something changed, folks, over the overnight, and that overnight change was the Russian ruble. This is uh, this is what started it all. As soon as that announcement hit, not many people looked at it, but there it was. You can go back, set your watch by it, because as soon as that came out, some boys that are much much bigger players than me uh, came out and said, "Uh oh." We is changing, and that was right down there, folks. You've got to remember that uh, somebody's out there, and this was the reasoning behind it. That basically gets rid of the sanctions. Let's take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, bear with me here one second. I've got uh, Billy Ray Valentine has a, uh, a in-progress uh, situation. So let's take a quick look at it right here. This was just sent to me by someone who knows this stuff pretty good. Now, the question is, did the, did the chart come up the right way? And that's going to be the $64 question. And I don't think it did. No. Yep, it did. Here it is. All right, boys and girls, we're going to take a long trip right now. Everybody get your seatbelts on. We are getting on a plane. Hold on one time, and we are going way down under to the land of the, the sheep and the kangaroos. There's your four-hour chart. 
on the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, okay? What you're gonna do is, you see here, you got A down here, you got B up there, and you got C here, and you got D there. The difference between this one, A, B, C, and D, is really nothing. They're just two different patterns. So this is where you're watching these things, and that's pretty much what you're, uh, what you're looking at. So I don't think there's anything else you can do, but if you do that, your risk is about 300 American dollars. And if it's right, it's going to probably make 900 American dollars. The probability of it winning, I can say with a great deal of confidence, is better than 66%. And that is a 30% or a 3 to 1 risk reward ratio. And uh, that's it. That number actually is 7511 with a stop at 7541. We will review that tra trade tomorrow to see how it looks and uh, we'll, we'll actually go from there. So we've been watching these things here now on the new system for a, this called Discord here at uh, TFNN. It seems to be working much better than the first couple of days. I'm not nearly as panicked as I was before. So let's uh, remind ourselves, folks, that uh, these markets are going to be around for a long time. So don't make any really, really bad mistakes. And you, you should be uh, okay. Remember that key number is 70, excuse me, 44.83. We need to close below that today. 877-927-6641. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls. Bye-bye.